What's up game story, it's you Fred is here once again and I will be your tech guide for today. <laughs> yes game story, you heard me right, I'll be your tech guide for today because for today I'm going to show you the hardware that I'm using, okay? I'll probably do a separate review for the software that I'm using but for the meantime I'll go ahead and show you the gears that I'm using okay because some of our games are asking about the gears that I have reviewed in the past how they are doing right now so it's probably been six months or so when I was still doing reviews and unboxing for the items that I bought in the past and that's what I'm going to show you right now and you know what gamester these are just cheap stuff or cheap gears without Further ado, let's go ahead and go to my uh, gadgets. So let's go ahead and start reviewing this item first or let me show you this item first so that I can use it on my camera already. Okay, so basically this is the Gorilla Pad that I'm talking about and uh, this ball head right over here is not included on the package. So basically what you're gonna get is this Gorilla Pad which is uh, large in size. This is the large size. And you're just gonna get these, uh, I'm not quite sure what this part is called. This holds your cell phone. What's good about this is you can bend the legs whichever way you want it. Or you can even just let it grip on a bar or something or on the edge of the table just like that. So that's the good thing about this Gorilla Pad. So it's a very flexible. Let me show you this lapel mic, okay, because I'll be using it for the audio so that we can have a better audio. So there you go, this is the lapel mic that I'm talking about. And then I just hook it up to this wire over here. I just twisted the wire so that it will be like that, flexible like that. And then it's connected directly to my PC right over here. Uh, usually these lapel mics are intended for cell phones or mobile phones or mobile devices. That's why I have this connector which I'm going to include the link as well in this description down below this is a connector so that you can hook it up for your PC so basically it will split your input to mic and headphones so you're gonna need one of these so that you can plug it right there on your PC there you go this uh, webcam right over here this is a Logitech C270 and by the way games are all of these items that I will be reviewing today I'm going to put a link in the description down below and down at the bottom is just a cheap uh, tripod that you can use for smartphones or even cameras that are not that heavy and then right over here is a ring light that I normally use all right so let me show it to you so there are three variations to it it's dimmable then that's the white one and this is the white and warm and this one is warm and you can actually dim the lights out of it. Let's go ahead and dim it. There you have it. And then let's maximize the light. Alright, so I normally use that. And then it is hooked up or attached to a Yun Tang monopad right over here, which I'm going to include the link on in the description down below as well. This is a Yun Tang 1288, alright, which is a Bluetooth monopad stick. I also have uh, lightings right over here at the top. I might not have the best quality video, but uh, that is one of the secret, and that's what I learned from watching YouTube is good lighting, just fair enough lightings. And I'm going to include a link in the description down below as well. If I can still find a light like that, because I bought this from Uno Factory Outlet, where your budget wins, but your item loses. Alright, so this is a LHT 220 volts 18 watts. By the way, this is the headset that I normally use for my editing. I did not buy this at all. This is a Vivitar headset, which is a gift from a friend of mine. This is originally a Bluetooth wireless headset, but wireless functionality is no longer working. Alright, good thing there is a 3.5 millimeter jack in here and then I'll just use this one up and hook it to this 3.5 millimeter jack extension which is hooked to my computer right over there which we're going to check out later on and I also have this USB extension cable so this is going to be much easier for me to plug in USB devices okay and down here at the bottom I have a creative 
835 computer speaker so it's not that fancy at all i'm not quite sure how much that cost right now but i'll definitely find out and i'll include the link in the description down below okay i also have this bm800 microphone or condenser microphone which i seldomly use that's a fair price it's a cheap price it's nice but it's very sensitive and it's capturing all of the noises that's why i usually go for the lapel microphone that you can see on most of my videos and i also have this boom stand or boom arm all right suspended to it and this pop up filter as well actually i've had this items already right even before i started vlogging game bloggings or game reviews all right so it's all in there you're gonna need a mixer this is a universal AT7U mixer. I think the price range is about 3,000 to 5,000 pesos. So it's not really the best and not that expensive as well. And it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven inputs that you can put in there. All right. But uh, again, I barely use that for my bloggings and my uh, game reviews. I just hook up my lapel microphone and to my computer directly it's much easier for me that way and of course when you are recording you're gonna need a silent fan like this which is a Tylex fan that I got from Shopee as well most of my items are for Shopee so this is rechargeable and the wind is fair enough I also have a video for this I'm just not quite sure if I have posted it already I think not but I'll probably post that since I showed it to you already guys and what else do we have here? So I have here my Fantech extended mouse pad. All right, so it's just as long as that. I'll also include a link on the description down below. Let me show you my bias lighting there, right over there at the back of my monitor as well. So there you have it. This says it's good for your eyes. Okay, it's getting hot in here already. So let's go for my PC setup. All right, this is not very expensive at all. So as you can see, this is the chassis that I have reviewed before. So this is an Alpha MTG by Techware. So let me show you how it looks like. All right, so there you have it. Let me show it to you guys. All right, so it's still awesome. And right over here at the side is the glass panel. All right, and right here at the top are the exhaust fans and another exhaust fan right over there. And then let me show you what's inside. There are the two times eight gigabyte RAM from Kingston, and I just bought it from a person, so I bought that I think for one point five k or something like that. And I also have a deep cool ice edge mini which is about like 500 pesos if I'm not mistaken and uh, this item right over here is an extension power cable extension 24 pin 4 pin 8 pins and 6 pins and it's hooked up to my GPU which is not that expensive as well it is just a GTX 660 but hey guys it gets the job done and my mobo or my motherboard where all of these items are attached to is a h61 mlv from biostar those are the ygt fans and led strips that i have added onto my setup as well and i have a review for that inside is a kingston 120 gigabytes ssd and i have an additional wd blue mini hard drive so it's not an ssd but it's a hard drive so pretty much that is my CPU setup. Now let's go to the mouse right over here. This is a Pentec Zeus X5S. So it's I'm still using the same mouse up until today. And I'm still getting pretty nice performance from that. So this is the software for your device. So DPI setting, let me just show it to you the DPI part. Here you go. It changes from time to time by pressing this button right over here and uh, you can also do ma macro setup i haven't done much with that because i just normally use it for reviewing mobile games and which i don't really do much macro settings animation lights are pretty much 
default so you cannot really personalize it now moving on let's go ahead and move on to my keyboard so this keyboard right over here is a keymac xtle from rack and the switch are other blue switches let me give you some noise So that's it, and yeah, you can also do macro settings to it. There you go, wrap, fine tuner is what you call it. So you can set a profile, you can, there are also some light presets as well to choose from for the keyboard. So it still works out fine six months after I've done my review about this item. So it still looks good and still working fine. I also have a USB hub right over there. So that I can input multiple USB, or I can use, uh, I can maximize or multiply my USB ports. So with just one USB port on my computer, I already hook up my light ring light over here, which is powered by a, my computer as well, a USB cable, and this USB extension right over here, and also. My bias light at the back, or my bias lighting at the back, is also powered by USB, which is 5 volts only. Okay, and now for the moment of truth, this is what most of our gamesters are asking about, my monitor. So as you can see, my monitor is still in pretty good shape. So it's still working fine. There's an HDR mode also with this monitor, but let me just show you some video clips. So those are the colors. Colors are still vibrant. This is just a normal setting. So I use it for my video editing, Photoshop editing. That's why I did not go for the curved monitor because I won't be able to get straight lines on a curved monitor. That's why I did not get a curved monitor. This is an IPS panel, guys. So even at the side, you're still getting the same color, the same views. All right, and right there, hopefully we're not gonna get cap right for those video, even though top view and here is the bottom view. So let me just check if I can activate HDR mode. So you just have to play around with the settings so that you can get to the HDR mode, which is right over there at the bottom. There you go. Now HDR mode is turned on and let's watch this video again on HDR mode. Okay, so that is the HDR mode of this monitor. Bottom view and then top view. I think so that's about it. Gamestra, most of these items are just cheap stuff. Um, the mobile or the internals of my PC, I bought that second hand. So it's just a matter of you looking for the right gears, the quality with a friendly price and a cheap price. By the way, Gamestra, I'm shooting this video using my very, very old Sony in NEX5 camera right over there and sometimes I also shoot videos with my Nova 2i which is currently under repair by yours truly as well all right so you don't really have to spend much when you decided to start a vlogging channel here on YouTube or in even in other platforms so you can go as cheap as you want as long as you will be able to deliver the message and a decent quality Alright, so Gamester, if this video was helpful for you, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, family, or just anyone who's planning to start a vlogging channel or will be interested in these items that I've shown to you. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring that notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I have new videos. This is Fred once again. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out to everyone, keep safe to all of you, and don't forget to take it easy. Goodbye for now, see you on my next video. Goodbye now.